here a little bit and uh, change the tires. We're talking about a great thing happening in our community and we're giving you plenty of advance so you can help volunteer, donate in any ways. We talk uh, Women's International Day. And Lou, you're even getting yeah, involved. Yeah, I can't wait till the guys at the racetrack see me when I walk in with this, folks. There you go. Okay. What are we talking about here? Uh, we'll give you all the details uh, with Melissa Knutson and her very beautiful daughter, Brynlyn uh, Grace, who is joining us this morning as well. Ladies, why are we wearing the shirts and why are we saying the phrase tampon slinger? Yeah, so we are talking about being tampon slingers because we want to promote awareness to period poverty and period poverty within central Iowa. And that's really, the, the, and folks, seriously, that, that yeah. is a, an issue for a lot of people, isn't it? It is, yeah. yes. Yeah, so if you can't afford food, there's a good chance you can't afford pads and tampons. Right. And that's the case for about 75% of Des Moines school district kids. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I didn't realize yes. it was that high. Yep, yep. Um, so 75% of students qualify for reduced or free lunch. 30% uh, of Central Iowans struggled to get food last year in 2018. So if you can't afford pads and tampons and you're a woman, uh, that could keep you out of school. Right. It could keep you out of work. Um, women improvise with things that may not be sanitary. Not safe. Not safe, exactly. Yep, and so, and it also creates a distraction. So if right. a girl doesn't have the correct things to take care of her period, she's not able to be fully functional in her day, I'm in her life. Self-esteem yeah. has got to be part of exactly. this as well. I could imagine what the effect is there. Exactly, yep, that's a huge thing. So if you can't be fully functional at school, or if you have body positivity issues because right. of your period oh, wow. and when it's limiting for you, um, so we're just trying to draw awareness Absolutely. to this issue. And that's uh, along with Give Grace, Give Hope is what we're talking about yes. here today. And I understand Brynlyn was kind of an inspiration uh, for Correct. this event that's coming up in March. Can you talk a little bit about that, Brynlyn? Um, so my mom got a haul for Give Grace, Give Hope, and we're kind of going to be making the we're going to be making period packs, mm -hmm. right, at the hall on March 8th. Okay. And so from 1 to 3 p.m., we're going to make period packs. And those period packs will be donated to local homeless shelters, local schools, and other human service organizations. Wow. The, the school thing still has set me back a little yes. bit. I didn't realize so many were mm -hmm. in need of a, a, of a product like this. Correct. Is, is it kind of faux pas? You know, when we, mm -hmm. we hold up a shirt that says tampon slinger, yes. we're talking about period packs. Uh, most people are like, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why? Yeah, I'm sure there's yes. some people going, I can't believe right. you're showing that on TV. <laughs> Folks, it's right. reality, okay? Right. Well, okay. It, but there's a reason yes. why we're talking about it. And you gave yes. us some uh, very important statistics. Mm -hmm. So how can we get involved? Yes. Uh, you mentioned an event in March, and we're talking about yes. it now because we want to get as many people there as possible, correct? correct? Yes. So you can go to our website, givegracegivehope.org. Um, you can go to our Facebook page, and there'll be connections there where you can sign up. You can register to be a volunteer at the event. We're okay. looking for 200 volunteers. Wow. Okay. You can also donate. So we hope to raise at least $5,000 for this event so that we can make 2,000 period packs. And each pack will, care, uh, will cover one period for a girl or woman in Central Iowa. Okay, and we all realize, uh, hopefully, that women go through more than one of those a year. So think about right. the ex extreme need that we do have in our yes. community. All right, Brynlyn, can you help me out? What is a period pack? What goes in yeah, a period pack? Yeah, we want to make pack? some of these, yes. okay? Um, so all we right. have to get a bag. So that's okay. the first thing we have. We have the bag, okay? Mom, I need a bag. Oh, okay. Yep. So, all right, so we got a bag. Okay. And what are we going to put in our bag, Brynlyn? Um, Four pads. Four pads. Four pads. Okay, okay, get some pads. Get some, get some here. There's yours, Thank Jackie. You. Thank I'll get you. these right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have four of these. Four tampons. Four tampons. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 All right. Where the one? Uh, and I'm missing and one. There we go. Oh, okay. See, I thought, you know, I, I was just mistaken. When I, when I saw this shirt, and again, here is the shirt. Going to show you this one more time. I dropped it. Sorry about that. There's the shirt. I thought we were going to take these. I thought it was going to be a contest, and we we're just going to see how far we can throw and, and do that. But that's not necessarily yeah. the case, right? Okay. Well, Sorry about that. To make it interesting. Good. Okay, so we have pads, we have tampons. What else are we throwing in there? Four liners. Four liners. Four liners. Four liners. Thank you, okay. I didn't even think about that. That's yep. these here. Yep. And okay. what else are we throwing in there? A soap bar. A soap bar. Soap bar. Soap bar. French mill, yeah. by the way, just so you know. Soap bar okay. there. And what are these? Um, they're notes. These are notes. These aren't just notes. These are positive 
notes that you're giving to these women. I don't know if you can read it. This one says, you can do it today. Meaning mm -hmm. you, anything you want to accomplish in life, you okay. can do it today. This one simply says, uh, you're amazing. amazing. Cool uh, there's that? that one there. So positive that is really reinforcement neat. in there yeah. as well. So right. that goes in the back. Yeah. I love the fact that you hand wrote these. You didn't just print them off. That's really neat. Yep. Brenlin hand wrote all four of these. And we do these at the event as well. So people can write a little note of encouragement for the recipient. Now you said you want to get what 200 people yes. uh, gathered together to Correct. do these. And mm -hmm. this didn't take us this didn't take us a minute to do. It. This took less than that. How many are we trying to do to build on that day? Two thousand at, at least. At least at least two thousand. If we grade if five thousand dollars will cover two thousand period packs. Okay, so let's see if we can go well above and beyond. Absolutely. That's why we're talking about it now mm -hmm. to raise that awareness to get people not it, it could be as much as giving your time. Mm -hmm. But if you are able to donate, if you're able to donate money, anything like that, again give us the details, how can we do so? Yes. So sign up on our website, go to givegracegivehope.org, hit our events page, you can sign up there to volunteer, hit the register link. You can also go to our Facebook page, which is Give Grace, Give Hope, Inc., and you can register and donate there as well. Unbelievable. This is a, an amazing opportunity of giving back with a great thing that's happening uh, courtesy of International Women's Day. So let's think of the women in our community and help support them in the most basic way, but the yes. most uh, necessity that is needed being a woman as well growing up. Correct. Thank you thank both you. for joining. Brilla, thank you, thank so, you much so much for, for showing us this. what a period pack is and how we can truly make a difference here in our community. Mm -hmm. Check out the website, learn more, and see how you can give back to a great thing happening in our community. You're watching.